Hello everyone, this is Nitin here. How you guys are doing? I hope uh, your watercolor going great. You're learning and improving. So in this watercolor tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate uh, one of the very interesting uh, subject uh, uh, which most of the beginners have asked me and rather they are having uh, some sort of uh, problem, you know, and that is making a water reflection. <laughs> yes. That's a very, you know, uh, some sort of uh, complicated, uh, you know, uh, the subject for many beginners. But uh, I think it's not at all uh, very complicated. It's just in our mind. So let's see this process. I'll just try my best to make this more, uh, you know, the easy way to understand. Right. So what I'm going to do is uh, right now I have a very smaller sheet of paper. <clears throat> excuse me uh, it's a quarter size now I want to compose it as most of my uh, videos so what I what I'm going to demonstrate here is I'll I'll take a very simple subject like a, uh, let, let's assume uh, I've taken a one a one house it's not a house it's just kind of a hut and uh, very simple so you will understand you will able to replicate this easily right and uh, next to this maybe here one window and uh, it has a uh, one door also main entrance right so this is the kind of uh, very simple subject we have and probably you can add uh, like uh, a little some trees and all just behind this right maybe you can add a couple of people here they're just standing next to this house okay and uh, this is basically and there is uh, some grass and bushes and all that and just next to this, this is actually a river. So the lower part of this paper is actually uh, water, right? So this is the kind of uh, story we have. If you have not subscribed my channel, so please go ahead and subscribe my channel and uh, don't forget to click on the bell icon. So that gives you a notification, right? So please do that now. <laughs> okay all right so I, th I, I hope you have done it right fine so now let's go ahead and uh, make uh, you know uh, let's make uh, a art of this right so let me introduce my color plate so I have uh, ultramarine blue and uh, sap green yellow ochre burn sienna orange sepia red so these are the mix of the color so I'll be most of the painting I I use it right so this is my palette and if you want to use the different color palette or in your whatever you are your feeling is most convenient to you you can definitely use that right so let's go ahead and make a art right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make <coughs> excuse me this This is actually is our sky, right? We got it our sky. Right? And we have these uh, trees. So I'm using this uh, Mixing this both color, sap green and uh, yellow ochre, and just a bit, a bit of it. Yes, and just here and there. And here and there, here and there. Okay. Maybe far there are some more trees. 
so that we can make it okay and now we have this upper part of this maybe it's a floor is having a terracotta sort of thing so that we can make it and that's all right that we have made and now we can make this wall of this so uh, what a uh, so little muddy color like this so we haven't reached yet our main subject which is the water reflection but yes we are just reaching we are almost there <laughs> Okay, and uh, let's make a little more depth here and there. I hope you are able to see, right? You are. And now I want to make a little more just that's all. So it's a kind of a surface, right? And rest of this is going to be our water so for water I just use it this ultramarine blue and just go down slowly and when you're reaching down make it a little darker a little darker slightly not much Okay, a little darker, still a little more darker. Okay, yes, so stop. <laughs> so, here we need to stop. And this is our first layer and uh, let it dry. Okay, uh, so once this gets dry, then we'll work for the next layer. All right, so now you can see our first layer is dried and uh, this is the time when we can work on second layer right so before starting with the second layer i wanted to talk about uh, my patreon membership if you want to you know uh, see yourself learning watercolor in a much higher level and you want to access uh, many watercolor you know tutorials very effective watercolor tutorials uh, weekly so please check my patreon membership it's a very competitive uh, you know price it's just uh, starting with uh, dollar five per month and it goes to dollar twenty so whichever you feel is a much uh, you know uh, appropriate for you you can just go ahead and take that subscription so that will be really really great so in that way you will be uh, you'll not only access uh, the watercolor but also the way to help an artist so so check that uh, i've given the link in this video description and yes let's go ahead with this tutorial so i'm going to make this uh you know the tree so here a very simple way to make this tree like this Here and there, just touch up. So you, there are many ways you can make uh, trees. Right? So I'm just using the depth and the light 
of this painting. So here it is. I never, never ever, you know, sigh away to do experiment. So thing is like you now these, these things will help you to not only make good art but also you will be developing a very interesting way to make watercolor very confident watercolor you know patches and the bold patches so those are very important right right so here we have this and now we'll do something a little bit here maybe very far there are a few few tree right and now let's come back to here I don't want to give much detail here right, so, so basically this so the light is actually falling from here so a lot of depth will be this side right And here also you can make a little depth here and there. So I'm I'm leaving this to people white at this moment because we'll be working later. Now we can just change our brush and then we'll make this window a little more obvious and the door Right, no much work, just the impression. That's all. Okay. Now we have to quickly jump into this bottom of this Doom. just a little work here All right, so now this is the time when we need to make the water reflection. Yay, we are there, right? <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is let's first understand the basic principle of it. So how the water actually, so water is, it's always flickers, right? There's a movement. It's just like a movement, right? So similarly, 
if you make a you know uh, like you know, when you're making this a, a reflection of the any subject right so first thing what you need to do is that you need to bring that and how you're going to do it so if you make it here suppose you are you wanted to make it here so these are the darker right so you have to make it like uh, you know so how you make it to the uh, reflection like this right like this the reflection so that actually gives you feel of the, you know the water now let's go ahead and make this more so here we go you're going 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 and see here where it is going it's starting from here and it goes here goes here goes here like this in the same way we have this tree so we need to capture that also right so here we can make that so here it going and then we are actually you know we are leaving some of the face like here like this like this something like this you got me so what you have what ha what you're doing here is you are leaving some of the you know the first layer visible and this is what and this is how actually we make beautiful reflection the same way here also now we have this top one so that also has to come so here we have taken that and just like that you got me so what I did is I've I've actually done a little bit of flickering here it's just like it's like this like this if I want to spoil this okay and we have if you make an straight and if you are making a too many like this like this very confidently you have to make it like you know like this tick 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 tick, tick and that no thinking much okay and very confidently whatever you do do confidently if you're not confident then things will be a little a little what to say uh, things will not come the way you want right so keep that in mind so here we have some more tree here right but those are very far so what we're doing is we are just making a little bit of that and that's all and if you want to make it something like this here that also you can make but that is not much now we have this door and windows and all that right so that also we need to capture so i'm using this ultramarine blue and just simply put it like this like this make it more dark more dark if you want we have more dark here so, that, so you can make it now what you also can do is you can just do a little bit of scratching not much be very cautious that you should not do over right well, let's make a little more here so that will be a little interest right 
So I'm gonna make a little more stuff here. Oh, we have forgot our human, right? <laughs> How did I forget that? Okay, please come back. <laughs> come back. So I'm just using this disguise. Very contrast, right? Maybe, you know, this looks like a temple, right? <laughs> so person is wearing some, is going temple, right? So let's make that. Uh, so here is... And is fit. Yeah. So we need to make um, take a very deep color of it. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, so we have here a couple of people. Let's make it more obvious. Now, the thing is, we also need to make a reflection of these guys. So, what we do is, we just take it and yeah, 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 <laughs> that's all. <laughs> so, nothing much and yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That's all, man. <clears throat> And here it is, we have our reflection, right? So, <laughs> uh, so this is how we make a water reflection using watercolor. So I hope uh, you, you, you have got something from this, right? Uh, please check my Patreon membership program. And uh, if you want to see more watercolor tutorials and classes, check my skill set classes also. The link I've given in the video description. See you next time. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.